For the Chicago Sun-Times, I'm Lori Rackle, and this is Lori's List, where I talk about some of the notable shows coming up on TV this week. Andy Dorfman dodged a bullet with Juan Pablo last season on The Bachelor. On Monday, the assistant district attorney from Atlanta will try her luck as The Bachelorette, where she'll be wooed by 25 new suitors, including two from Chicago, a personal trainer named Cody and Nick V, a software sales executive. On the stalkery side of things, a former contestant also shows up, demanding to join the pool of hopefuls. Gimmicks aside, the season starts off on a somber note. Contestant Eric Hill died in a paragliding accident shortly after he finished filming the show. On Wednesday, one of television's top-rated comedies, Modern Family, wraps up its sixth season with a walk down the aisle by Mitchell and Cam. The first half of this two-part episode that aired last week had the big day shaping up to be an even bigger disaster. It's just, it's easier for me to stay calm in the face of, oh my God! Oh, oh, oh my God! God. Oh, my God. Oh, my More chaos ensues in the finale. Between the laughs, expect some moving emotional moments too, an effective combo that's a hallmark of this sharply written sitcom. Thursday sees the debut of Fox's new drama, Gang Related. Raymond Rodriguez stars as Ryan Lopez, a cop torn between two families, the LAPD's gang task force where he works, and, on the completely opposite side of the spectrum, LA's most powerful gang, headed by a man who raised Ryan after he was orphaned as a child. Your job is to protect the family. Ryan's de facto father later convinced him to infiltrate the police department. Now, this should make for some great tension, but that key ingredient is sorely lacking in this mediocre crime drama. Instead of Ryan being a complex anti-hero with shades of gray, he's more like a boring beige. Sunday on HBO, Larry Kramer adapts his Tony Award-winning play, The Normal Heart, in this unflinching look at the dawn of the HIV AIDS crisis in New York City in the early 80s. Three decades and 36 million worldwide deaths later, the film tells the story of a government, medical establishment, and public, both gay and straight, that were deep in denial about this burgeoning epidemic. It's also an intimately personal tale of Kramer's heartbreaking firsthand experience with the disease. Directed by Ryan Murphy, it's bound to put Emmys in the hands of a remarkable cast that includes Mark Ruffalo, Julia Roberts, and Matt Bomer. <laughs>